guys, welcome to Windy Studio. And again, yeah, it's, it's day for another exciting tutorial. And if you guys haven't subscribed my channel yet, don't forget to click on subscribe and don't forget to click on that bell icon. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a simple poster design just using Press and Linear Max on Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. So here we are in Photoshop and if you want to use the same image and the brush that I'm using today, check on the description list below. So first let's uh, drag and drop this grass PNG over here. And uh, let's make it a little smaller, go to edit, free transform and go holding on alt and shift and drag. I think somewhere over here. Alright, and then let's put it under the layer one and let's create a new layer and let's fill it with something like this color. Alright, and after that, let's do some color correction on our grass layer. So go to filter, camera raw filter, let's change the clarity, decrease the saturation a little down, let's increase the contrast, and decrease the highlight, highlights, decrease points. Alright, let's move it a little bit up, maybe somewhere over here. Alright, after that let's drag and drop this image over here. Let's make it a little smaller again. For that go to edit, free class small. Maybe something. Click on this layer, right click and create clipping marks. Now let's get rid of these hard edges. So for that, select on layer 4, create layer max and go to brush. And, and this time I'm using this brush. Alright. And make sure your color is black. center all right let's do some color correction for this layer so go to filter camera raw filter let's decrease the highlights increase the clarity increase the side a little bit and drop down the saturation all right something like this Now let's create a new layer, go to brush again and then this time I'm using this brush. Now let's change the color, something like this bright color and let's change the brush rotation, alright something like this. Let's change the opacity a little down. Alright. Now right click, create clip max. Let's change the background with something like this color. Same color. 
it blends. Alright, now let's drag and drop this PNG over here. Let's change the blending mode to screen and free transform. Let's make it a little smaller. Alright. Now let's create a new text layer. like the font let's change the font to something like this and select the layer and create a layer max go to brush again and this time I'm using this brush and make sure the color is black just add some texture duplicate this text layer so for that alt and drag go to edit free transform this credit title over here and let's change the color for this credit title so go over here go to color overlay and yeah let's go to edit transform let's make it a little smaller all right let's do some adjustment on the grass layer so again go to grass layer go to filter camera raw filter let's make it more darker increase the clarity increase blacks decrease the saturation again and again let's drop down the highlights and whites too all right now let's drag and drop this texture over here and put it on the top change the blending mode to Overlay, go to edit, free transform. Let's make it a little bigger and let's change the opacity. And now let's do some color correction on our main image. Select the layer, go to filter, camera raw filter. Increase the clarity, decrease the highlights, shadow a little bit and exposure a little bit up and click OK. Alright, now let's do a final touch. So for that, go to color lookup table and let's use and 
and let's change the opacity like this let's create new layer go to brush and this time I'm using a general brush and let's and let's change the opacity to the So that's the final and hope you guys learned something new from this video and see you guys in the next video.